So as I was saying, um, this pile here, well it's our compost pile in effect, but all the rotted down straw that we did once purchase in order to build a straw bale house but didn't get around to it, um, is now used here on this plot of land, just slowly, very slowly, come, turning into uh, what will be the allotment. So we've got rid of a lot of the bigger stones and rocks and we've been mulching it with straw to keep the moisture in. You can see that greenness there is a new thing. We never used to get patches of green like that on this plot of land. Well, on this patch of land. So, let's go and have a look at the foundations for the future house or communal space. And we can go via What's the beginnings of a new composting toilet? So here we've got a hole that we've dug into the side of a slope with a dry stone wall. The first dry stone wall I've helped build. Um, fairly amateurish. Most of the stones came out of the hole we dug. The rest of them are all from the land, not from far away. Doesn't take long to find stones here. Um, plan for this is pretty much to build a little wooden hut over it with a toilet inside and in there depending on we might put a couple of wheelie bins which will turn into the, the composting toilet system have a look over here so for orientation there's the hut that we looked at earlier and the dog, uh, dog kennel old dumper water tank up there. Here are the foundations for the main building. We've been here for quite a while but there's no one actually living on the land. Things happen in uh, kicks and starts. So here we are, you can see you get a nice view down the valley. that way, which is pretty much east, and just round that corner you get to the village, but actually just the Sierra, see, see, yeah, well the beginnings of the village, slowly growing down that valley, and down this valley to the west. Uh, down there is Cuenca. You can actually walk straight down that valley, straight to Cuenca which takes about three and a half hours. I've done that a couple of times, it's a nice walk. Right, let's go and check out the shower. Now, it's fairly basic, as you can see. It's a breeze block shower. I think we found these breeze blocks, a pallet of them on the side of the road or something. Not sure exactly what the story was. Um, some nice little shelves there. You put the pipe over the top, which comes down from the water tank. Here it is. Here's our sink for washing up and what have you. And uh, it makes a very nice shower. At this time of year, if it's sunny, then you need to shower really before about midday one o'clock because the blackness of this pipe uh, heats up the water rather effectively and after about noon one o'clock the water is scalding way too hot to have a shower there's an old bath we've got if you want to have an outdoor bath you can plug that up and fill that up with water very nice let's go and check out our existing compost toilet a few years ago we came out here the original goal being to build a compost toilet much like what will be going on top of the hole where the stone walls are. But we didn't uh, plan enough and really we just wanted a holiday. But we also needed to go to the toilet. So one day myself and Ollie and my dad John 
and Matty, friend of Ollie's, knocked together this beautiful little composting toilet, somewhat of a throne. There it is in all its glory. Now underneath there, we've dug out a hole, on top of which is sort of a bit of metal grating that we had, so a bit of a, uh, you know, found metal grating. And that keeps the uh, shit and the piss and the straw, which you add on top, here, keeps air circulating, so the, the uh, feces and the piss and the straw doesn't fall straight onto the bottom of the hole, it falls onto the grating, which is lifted slightly off the hole bottom of the hole. Now there is a bit of a, I mean it's, this was built quite a few years ago now and it's just out to be weathered but it's lasting quite well. That ventilation tube goes down to the bottom of the hole below the metal grating so there should be a fairly constant uh, flow of air through there because uh, of course the most important things for uh, an effective composting system are Warmth, moisture, air, warmth, moisture, air, fuck I've messed it, I can't remember the fourth one, but you need the right amount of all of them, not too much, not too little. Um, that's pretty much it.